Hello everyone, I'm Yadak Reddy and welcome to my channel Ashwaya Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to talk about what is TestNG. So what is a TestNG? TestNG is a testing framework for Java programming language and it is developed by Cedric Bust. So if I'm not pronouncing the name properly, please excuse me. Okay. So here the TestNG is a testing framework developed for the Java programming language. That means you cannot use TestNG inside any other programming languages. Okay. So it is specifically designed for the Java programming language only. You can use TestNG in only in Java programming language. You cannot use it in C Sharp or you cannot use it in Python or JavaScript. So first let me open the Chrome. So first I wanted to go to TestNG official website and I want to show you from there. Okay. So let me just type TestNG here. So I'm going to this official website of TestNG that is testng.org. It is the first link in the search results. Okay. So just open this. So this is the website. Okay. So here if you read TestNG is a framework that is inspired from JUnit and NUnit. So we have said that TestNG is a testing framework developed for the Java programming language, right? So we know who is the developer also, right? So here it says it is actually inspired by the JUnit as well as NUnit. So what are these things actually? So this JUnit and NUnit are also the testing frameworks available in the market today. So this JUnit is developed for the Java programming language and this NUnit is developed for the .NET programming languages. So we have .NET and Java like Python and so like that there are so many programming languages, right? So this JUnit is developed for the Java programming language whereas NUnit is actually developed for the .NET programming languages. So internally these things are actually similar only. So whatever JUnit is actually providing that can be achieved using NUnit. So almost they both are equal only. So here before TestNG is actually developed, JUnit is already there. That means, right? So people are actually, I mean the developers or testers are actually using the JUnit before TestNG is actually developed. So why TestNG came into the picture then? So this author, the developer, who is who is the developer here? Cedric Bust, right? So the Cedric Bust was actually using the JUnit only, okay? So he is using the JUnit inside his projects, but he is feeling that some features in the JUnit are missing, okay? Some features that he wanted, those are actually missing in the JUnit framework. So then he got pissed off and he started creating an entirely new framework and he named it as a TestNG framework. So actually he was using JUnit framework only, but there are some features that are lagging in the JUnit and he wanted to create a new framework by including all those features, the missing features. Then he created everything from the scratch and he named the framework as TestNG. Why TestNG only? So it is a testing framework, right? Basically whatever he has created, it is a testing framework. So he wanted to name something as new. So it is a testing framework for the next generation. So before generation, the people are actually using J in it, right? Here NG stands for next generation basically. So he wanted to name it as testing framework for the next generation. So that is why he named it as TestNG. So basically this TestNG was actually, I mean the idea of developing the TestNG is inspired by the JUnit and NUnit, right? So that is clear. So in some interviews, I see some people are actually answering what is TestNG means. TestNG is a unit testing framework. That is wrong guys. That is wrong actually, okay? TestNG is not just a unit testing framework. TestNG is a testing framework which can be used inside unit testing integration testing, end-to-end -end testing, system testing and functional testing. So you can use almost in every kind of testing. So you can use the test ng in almost every kind of testing. So how do you answer like that then? So you should not ever answer like this. Okay. Test ng is not just a unit testing framework. It is a testing framework which is used in the unit testing and end-to-end -end testing and functional testing and integration testing as well. So next, what are the advantages this TestNG is actually providing? For example, if you want to develop a new product, so there is already one product and you want to develop a new product by inspiring this product. So in that scenario, you have to showcase some kind of new features, right? So for example, there is a car available in the market. So again, I'm releasing a new car. So I have to show some kind of difference, right? So I have to show some kind of difference and additional features that the old car is actually not providing, right? So in the similar way, this TestNG developer also provided some additional features which are not actually available in the JUnit. So those are annotations. So you may saying like, okay, JUnit is also providing the annotations, right? So in the JUnit, we have less number of annotations and in the TestNG, there are more number of annotations basically. And apart from that, this TestNG is providing one excellent feature called parallel testing. So you can run your test in the parallel mode. So in the JUnit, that is not possible. But in the TestNG, you can run your test in the parallel, okay, which will save a lot of time for us, right? So for a suppose you have 10 tests, okay? So if you are executing each test sequentially, if it is, I mean, if each test is taking one minute, if you are executing 10 test cases, it is going to take 10 minutes of time, right? 
but if you are executing them in the parallel mode then it will i mean the time will be reduced right so for suppose if you are executing five test cases at a time so obviously it is going to consume only two minutes of time right the first set of five will go in first minute and the second set of five will go in second minute right so the time will be reduced a lot so that is the excellent feature that is provided by the test engine and also there are so many features so here you can read all the features so here one more main feature is data provider so in the test ng we have something called data provider so using this data provider you can pass the data to the test methods so in the upcoming videos we will see all the features and how we need to pass i mean how we need to use the data provider everything we will see so for now just remember that test ng is just a advanced framework than the rj unit okay so whatever j unit is actually not able to provide those things are actually achieved in the test ng so now we have seen what is a test ng right so let me summarize one more time so what is a test ng test ng is a testing framework for java programming language so that means it is only applicable to the java not in the other programming languages and it was created by cedric bust and it is inspired by j unit and n unit and it provides the additional features compared to the j unit right so we have seen additional annotations and we have seen like we have talked about the parallel execution those things right and also it can be used for unit end to end integration functional testing so almost all kinds of testing it is used so you should never answer like test ng is a unit testing framework test ng is a testing framework you should not answer like unit testing framework so this is about this video guys so in our upcoming videos we are going to see the entire course okay in the test ng we are going to cover almost everything so we are going to see what is a data provider how to run the test in the parallel and what are the annotations and how do we use the annotations and what is a test ng xml so everything we are going to see guys so stay tuned to this channel for the more updates so that is about this video guys thank you for watching bye bye